With all internal combustion engines, some gases from the combustion chamber get past the pistons and the piston rings. These gases that get past the pistons are swirling around where the crankshaft is spinning in oil. The gases will build up pressure in the crankcase causing an opposing force against the piston if they aren't released. Well, you can't release these oily gases into the atmosphere, so that's why there's a PCV valve, positive crankcase ventilation. And through this valve, the oily gases are recycled back into the intake to become part of the combustion process and be burned off. A groove in here is designed for an o-ring so I got an o-ring set over here So we could orient the PCV valve a little bit this way on an angle like that. A little dielectric grease here so I can work the hose on. That's for the outlet and this is for the inlet. I'm going to use a 3 8 inch hose for my outlet and inlet. Okay, so here's the PCV valve. So the blow-by gases are going to get channeled through this hose into the catch can where the oil in the exhaust is going to be separated. And then the return line, which is over here, will channel the clean air back into the intake over here. So for checking oil buildup in the catch can, you have this little dipstick here. And for removing oil in the catch can, you just basically spin this off. There you go. Now there's one other thing I added to this kit. The uh, filter screen for the blow-by gases. It's two-piece. It allows you to put in filter media. I just use some stainless steel Brillo pad material. Normally the gases would come in through the top here and then the gases would work its way to this bottom part of this ring. So there's virtually no filter media except for these holes. So what I did was I took this stainless steel material and used that as a filter to capture the oil that's in the vapors. And then I screw that into the base of the catch can. So by using this catch can system, the filtered air will work its way back into the intake manifold. There won't be an oily mist going into the intake manifold, which will prevent the throttle body plate from getting carbonized and also the base of all your intake valves accumulating carbon. And that was around 500 miles on the engine.
Also, when this oil is introduced in the intake and it mixes with the air fuel mixture, it'll artificially lower your octane and cause engine knock. If you're dealing with existing carbon buildup on your intake valves or throttle plate, we've got videos linked here showing you how to clean that up as well. The most practical use of catch cans are in force induction systems, in other words, superchargers and turbochargers, because they're artificially raising the compression ratio when the turbo and supercharger kicks in, and that creates a lot of blow-by gases. And we're done.